98 FM. 98 FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy. Weekdays from 10 a.m. on 98 FM. If you use public transport to get into work in the morning, uh, the Lewis, the bus or the Dart, and again to get home after work, you will know how packed our public transport is. You can barely breathe on uh, the Lewis and the Dart during rush hour. Uh, You'd be lucky to get a seat on a bus during the same time. The fact is, a huge percentage of people using public transport during those hours um, are on free travel passes. And we want to ask whether or not this bothers you. According to the latest figures, we've more than 1.2 million people entitled to free travel. And the numbers qualifying for the scheme are rising every year. Now, many people don't uh, resent somebody who has a free travel pass. In fact, you'd love one yourself, wouldn't you? Of course you would. Um, Well, a top civil servant in the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform has thrown out the idea of a potential ban on using free bus passes on public transport during rush hour. Secretary General Robert Watt said that a debate needs to be had about how infrastructure, including public transport, is priced and used. It's been argued that by by, by banning people with free travel passes using public transport during peak times, it would create more space for commuters trying to get in and out of work. So if you have a travel pass and you want to use the bus at uh, 8 a.m., well, you might have to pay for it. Um, and we're asking, is, is this unfair? Or is it reasonable to say, if you're on a uh, travel pass, if you have a free travel pass, uh, use the bus after 10 o'clock in the morning when there isn't as much uh, demand so that people uh, who have to pay for the bus uh, can get on the bus and can get into work? Call me right now on 6797981. Text or WhatsApp your uh, opinion to us to 0877 989898. 0877989898. Irene, you're on Dublin's 98 FM. How are you, Irene? Hello, Adrian. Good morning to you. Now, you contacted um, us to say you're very angry over this. Oh, I'm very angry. Because the way I look at it is, does people have hospital appointments? Right, which is, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they have to use the public transport. And then you have people coming from the country who has to come up for chemo and they could have a pass on the train. So mm-hmm. what are you supposed to do with those people? I think it's a disgrace that this society is treating uh, vulnerable people who's ill, you know what I mean, with a pass, wanting them to have nothing, and the elderly. I think it's disgraceful. I remember years ago, Adrian, I don't know whether you remember yourself, that they did have that situation. You know what I mean? That they couldn't use the bus till 10, until 4, and it had to be changed because people couldn't get to hospital appointments. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And that's for the man out of the civil service. I'm sure he's chauffeur driven into his job every day. You know what I mean? Okay, but uh, the the reality of it is, Irene, if uh, you have... uh a hospital appointment, for example, and you're, you, you've a bus pass and you, you've to get to the hospital, just yeah. pay the two euro for the bus. No, that's not the point. The point is that it's there for people who require, which is our elderly population, right, and people who are quite ill. Right, that's what annoys me. And people should stop picking on the vulnerable in this country. And so the, that, that civil servant not to sort out the country more worrying about a bus pass. You know what I mean? I'm sure he's got his more to do his time. Okay, I, 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 I don't know if you, uh, like many people listening to us, commute to work uh, on a daily basis in and I out of town. Years, yeah. Okay, yeah, well, uh, then you will pro- years, uh, you'll probably hard. know how yes. much of a bloody nightmare it can be to get it's in and out of work. every morning and a bus to work. Yeah, yes. so you know how packed they can be, you know yes. how uncomfortable they can be, yes. and, and this suggestion is that if we just... We're not saying stop people using uh, their bus passes, but just not before nine o'clock in the morning or ten o'clock in the morning. Well, I think I think it's wrong, and I think it's a disgrace. And you have to think of people who are ill and who, who require to get to a hospital. If people don't get bus passes for a joke, they they get them from the state because they have enough income for a start. You know what I mean? So you have to understand. It's a big picture. It's not just a small picture between going to work in the morning and coming home in the evening. I'm sure it'll make a massive difference to the society. And for God's sake, we'll just leave the elderly people alone and sick people. Please. Okay, stay there for one second, Irene. Six seven nine seven ninety eight one is our telephone number. Text or WhatsApp us zero eight seven seven ninety eight ninety eight ninety eight zero eight seven seven ninety eight ninety eight ninety eight. 
Um, Adrian, there are too many good-for-nothings out there who shouldn't have a pass to begin with. And it's beyond me how half of these shysters uh, qualify to get passes. As far as I can see, these people get them willy-nilly and the social welfare have a lot to answer for for giving them out like this. And I'm a bus driver, says uh, that person. And in fact, the figures that we were reading today show that 1.2 million people are entitled uh, and, and receive uh, free travel, uh, free travel passes. And we're asking whether or not uh, people who aren't paying for the bus shouldn't be allowed on the bus during rush hour when the buses are the most packed uh, and the darts and the Lewis's. Text or WhatsApp 0877 98, 98, 98 I'd love to know how you feel about this. Is it unfair to say that you can't use your bus pass during rush hour? Well, no, you can. Sorry, you can. You just have to pay. Jason, tell me about the number 27 bus. I used to work in Tala, Adrian, and I got the 27 bus every morning to Tala. And when you go upstairs on the bus, I noticed five or six, seven homeless people. And I got chatting to one of them, and I said, why are you on the bus? He says, because we get kicked out of hostel early in the morning, and this is the longest bus journey. So they get the 27 from Clare Hall over to Tala and back all day until they're allowed back in the hospital. And they also have free travel passes. But I also agree with that lady about the hospital appointments as well, Adrian. Like, there is elderly people there needs to be there at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay, for but, their but the, the free travel is being abused as well. Oh, totally, totally, yes. Yes, totally. So these guys were getting on the bus. Now, we don't, how long ago was this? Just, just there about last, the, the bus storm we had. Right, okay. So during the bad weather, they were getting on the, the, the number 27, um, going, from Clare Hall. Ta- going from Clare Hall to Tala and back again. And back, yeah. So they were getting a bit of heat on the bus and it was keeping them off. And um, were they drinking or doing drugs? No, no, or, no, 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 no. No, Just on no. the bus for the journey. Yeah, that's it. Just, uh, just, I mean, just, just, just to get out of the cold, and that's all. And meanwhile, people who were trying to get to and from work uh, possibly couldn't get on the bus because it was so packed. Exactly. Right, 100%, okay. yeah. So yeah. You, 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 while you understand the uh, the concern over people with hospital appointments or whatever... Um, totally agree with that, Adrian. Yeah. We, we yeah. need to stop that sort of abuse. Yes. 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 Okay, all right, good man. Uh, Noel, um, you are, it says on my screen, a paying customer, and what, you should get priority, should you? Absolutely, Adrian. I mean, I go to a lot of expense for a leap card monthly. Mm-hmm. And, you know... I got on the bus early in the morning and a lot of seats are occupied by old age pensioners. And as a paying customer, I think I should have priority to a seat on the bus. Um, I think that, you know, a lot of older people, their day is quite empty. They can fill it any time they wish. They're not, you know, stuck to a routine or regime to, to get anywhere. Um, in any okay, now, for, firstly, I, I, I'd like to assume... Uh, you don't resent uh, our senior citizens getting uh, free travel, do you? Well, uh, you know, I do slightly, Adrian. Really? I do think that it should but it's be something we'll, But it's something we'll all get. Yes, but, uh, you know, when you reach that time of life, you don't have, uh, you know, uh, a, a day that you need to stick to a routine or get somewhere in, in any particular hurry. I know, but is, isn't it fantastic that our, that our senior citizens uh, can, uh, when they wake up in the morning, decide to hop on the dart and go out to Hoth or out to Bray and it not cost them a washer or go down to Killarney? Isn't that great? Isn't I that a nice really little... Re- a, I, no, I don't have an objection to that, but I do have the objection to uh, during peak times. I think that it really, really needs to be restricted. Um, and, you know, accommodate people who are paying. I'm paying a lot of money every month and I don't see why I should, you know, be left at the bus stop or standing before I, you know, do a whole day's work to accommodate a pensioner who has nothing else to do. Okay, so uh, you believe that fair paying passengers and obviously somebody with a, a, a bus pass uh, could pay to get on the bus uh, in the morning or during rush hour, uh, but you believe that uh, if they're not prepared to pay, they shouldn't be allowed on the bus? No, they should not. And, uh, you know, I'm getting a bit tired of listening to people talking about, you know, oh, if they have hospital appointments, etc. Now, let's face facts, Adrian, most old age pensioners wouldn't have a mortgage, nor they have rent, etc. to pay. So they don't have the outgoings that, you know, the rest of us would. Um, therefore, if you have a hospital appointment, it's not going to break the bank to pay your fare. 
Okay, stay there for one second. Uh, Teresa, you're on 98 FM. Hi, you, Teresa. Hi, Adrian. How are you? Teresa, why are you angry? I'm very angry because before that girl, Noel, was even thought of, these people, the old age pensioners who are entitled to their free pass, were paying tax, insurance, and everything else and bringing this country to where it is today. Correct. I agree with you 100%. Yes. Now, how, how, however, you sorry, you, sorry, however, Teresa, I will point out to you that is not, it is not just our senior citizens that are entitled oh, totally to free travel. Agree. I totally agree. I just annoyed that she would even suggest that she have priority because she's a paying customer. Well, they I have do. paid all their lives. They've paid all their lives. And so they've paid all their lives. And so they will continue. And that's life. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. That is life. And therefore, they should be allowed to travel whatever time they like. I know a lady who lives on her... Oh, they should not. Oh, my God. So what? We should put them all in a camp. We should put them all in a camp and forget about them, should we? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. The bus is free. Oh, bloody God. I know a lady who lives on her own. On her own. And all day long, she sits on her own. Her only outlet is to go into town in the morning and have a stroll around town. Do you want to take that away or limit her to a time when she can use her pass? Is there, is there a reason why she can't pay her fare? Is there a reason why she can't pay yeah. her fare? Because she's paid yeah. all her life. She's worked all her life on tax and insurance. That's why she shouldn't have to well, pay her fare. Know, she's now, the likes of junkies excuse who get on the bus, excuse and I've seen junkies get on... No, you excuse me. No, you, you said your piece. Excuse me. No, you, you excuse me. Hang on, Sorry, uh, Teresa. Say that again, please. The likes of... I was getting on a bus one day, and this junkie, as high as a kite, had a bus pass and had a guy with him who was a private guy getting on the bus. Mm-hmm. Now, that I do not agree with. They should not have bus passes. The actual bus driver was less on the bus. He was so bad, but he had no choice. They shouldn't have both passes. Okay, let, let, me, let me give you the example that uh, we got a couple of minutes ago of a group of homeless people hopping on the number 27 bus from Clare Hall to Tala and back to Ta- Clare Hall and back to Tala for the whole bloody day just for something to do. That's a complete abuse of the system when other okay. people are paying for it. I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. But my point is, old age pensioners shouldn't be penalised for that. They shouldn't be penalised. The social welfare, whoever gives them, they're the ones that should be penalised for that. Old age pensioners have a right to use their bus pass whenever they feel they want to use their bus passes. And I'm not just talking about going to hospitals, just to get them out of the bloody house. People are up, they're, they're so used to getting up early in the morning, they're up at six in the morning, they're getting their breakfast, but they've nothing to do all day. Why not? Why should they not go and use a bus pass? I okay, uh, all right. okay stay there for a second. Uh, you, so w- what I'm hearing from you, Theresa, is uh, there should be some restrictions on the use of bus passes, but not for our elderly. No, definitely okay. not for our elderly. Okay. Uh, Marie, you're on 98 FM. How are you, Marie? How are you, Adrian? Marie, you don't believe that fair pairs should get any priority? Well, I, it's a case of give and take. I mean, there are people there frustrated trying to get to work in the morning, and... You know what I mean? A pensioner, right, they have all day to go in now in town. And that's what a lot of them do. They just go in the pass. The yeah, no, I know. I see them on the bus every day when I'm going home, yeah. Yeah, as I say, they're entitled to their pass and they're entitled to ramble around town and do whatever they want to do. But, like, for the workers, like, come on, let's be fair. They have to be in work by a certain time. Okay, Theresa, let's just deal with that. that uh, this isn't about necessarily restricting people it's about making it easier for uh, commuters to get in and out of work they have to get in and out of work and i totally agree they have to get in and out of work i go to work every day i know what it's all about but the point that i'm trying to make is if they haven't got if the pensioners using the bus fine let them use the bus to put more bloody buses on if that's the case if they can't take on the people that are going to work and pensioners then there's something serious about these people have worked all their lives and they're entitled to what they get. All right, Marie, uh, uh, the elderly are obviously, and uh, you know, touch wood, we'll all get to that age that we yeah. are entitled to one ourselves. Yeah. Um, and there shouldn't, you know, you've paid taxes all your life, you should be entitled to it, and you should be able to use it whenever you want. Yeah, but it's still not stopping them from using the public transport. It's just certain hours, like, you know, to, to give way to the people that have to get into jobs. And as I say, a lot of people that have bus passes... It's for companions as well to get on board. Mm. So it's just two That's seats, two people, like, yes, that's I mean? two seats. Yeah, it is. All right. Okay, let me just bring in one last very quick call. Sarah, you're on 98 FM. Hiya, Sarah. Hiya, how are you? Good, thank you. What did you want to say? I'm absolutely fuming with that woman. 
Mm. Absolutely. How ignorant she can be. How do you know that these people didn't work all their lives, pay their taxes, and they are entitled? As for people getting their hospital appointments, you don't know how many people are going on that bus that have terminally ill uh, conditions and need to get to St. James's or St. St. Luke's just because they're taking your seat. You're not sick, so why can't you get up and give them a seat and don't worry about it? Or is your work that far that you need a seat the whole way? I am fuming. All right, but look, uh, do you, you don't think there should be any restrictions at all? No, there shouldn't be. And as for the, about, uh, the bus drivers saying yeah. that people get uh, bus passes yes. just for any willy-nilly, the government don't give out medical cards to any willy-nilly people. So why would they give out uh, bus passes to any per- person willy-nilly? You, if you're entitled to it, you're entitled to it for certain circumstances. All right, OK. Thank you very much indeed, Sarah. Thank you, all of you, for your calls. This is 98FM's Dublin Talks. 98 FM. 98 FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy. Weekdays from 10am 